Chapter 1 I ran into Miss Frizzle's classroom in a big rush. I didn't want to be late that day. Phoebe, watch out! Carlos yelled at me. I froze in my footsteps. Then I looked up. A big paper eagle was dangling right over my head. Yikes! I screamed. Carlos was holding on to the eagle by a string. He was trying to hang it from the ceiling. But the eagle was bouncing up and down. It looked as if it wanted to pounce on me and eat me up. Wow, Carlos, I said. That's some bird. Carlos, it's giving me the eagle eye. It's a bald eagle, Carlos said proudly. It used to be endangered, but now... But now we're in danger, Dorothy Ann interrupted him, joking about the size of Carlos's project. Oh, you're just jealous, D.A., Carlos said. My eagle is ten times bigger than your robin. I'm not jealous, D.A. answered. I just think all the birds we're studying are amazing. Just then, Miss Frizzle came rushing into the room. She ducked in time to miss Carlos's eagle. Its claws just grazed the top of her curly red hair. Good morning, class, the Frizz said. I see you all have your bird projects here now. Before you deliver your reports, let's go on a little field trip. Uh-oh, Arnold said. I think I should have stayed home today. Every pair of eyes in the room stared at Miss Frizzle. At Miss Frizzle's dress. We had never seen anything. We had never seen this dress before. It was mostly blue, sky blue, with birds flying all over it. Miss Frizzle, Carlos said, that dress is for the birds. We all groaned. We thought Carlos's jokes were for the birds. Are we going bird watching, Miss Frizzle? Tim asked. Not just yet, the Frizz answered. First, I want you to meet someone. I started to wriggle with excitement. This was what I had been waiting for. Phoebe, Miss Frizzle said, would you bring in our guest? I ran to the door, where my uncle Cecil Bird was waiting. He's a little shy, like me. I grabbed a hold of his arm and pulled him inside the room. Everyone, I said proudly, this is my Uncle Cecil. Uncle Cecil stood in front of the class beside me. He had his bird-watching binoculars around his neck. With his long legs and pointy nose, I guess he looked a little like a stork. Good day, mates, Uncle Cecil said. Call me Cecil. Uncle Cecil is from Australia and has a neat accent. Good day, Cecil, the kids said back with a few giggles. We're doing a project on birds, Miss Frizzle explained. Righto, Uncle Cecil said. Who can tell me what a bird is? Dorothy Ann jumped up before anyone else had a chance to let out a peep. According to my research, she began, all birds share these characteristics. From Dorothy Ann's notebook, Birds of a Feather. Birds 
are animals that have feathers. They lay eggs in nests and keep the eggs warm until the young birds hatch. Birds are warm-blooded, and most birds fly, but not all. You're no bird brain, Uncle Cecil told D. A. with a wink. That was an excellent report. We're studying birds from all around the world, Ralphie said. Uncle Cecil is an ornithologist. I explained, "That's someone who studies birds." My favorite bird is the penguin, Uncle Cecil said. I've been to Antarctica twice to study them. That's not to be confused with the Arctic. That's in the north. And no penguins are there. Cool, Carlo said. Cold, actually, Uncle Cecil corrected him. Really, really cold. How can birds survive in such a cold place? Wanda asked. They wear snowsuits, Arnold blurted out. It may look as if penguins wear suits, Uncle Cecil said. But those are really feathers. A penguin's feathers can keep out freezing cold and winds that would turn humans into ice. We aren't going to Antarctica, are we, Miss Frizzle? Arnold asked nervously. No, Arnold. We're just going to a bird sanctuary, Miss Frizzle said. Since the weather. Is turning cold. A lot of birds are migrating. It's a great time to watch for birds. From Cecil's Penguin Papers, penguins are birds that don't fly. There are seventeen species of penguins. Most live in the cooler waters of the southern hemisphere, including those of Antarctica. Others live near Australia, Africa, and South America. Penguins don't have wings, but they do have flippers. They use their flippers for swimming. Some penguins spend seventy-five percent of their time in water, but all penguins breed on land or on sea ice that is attached to land. Miss Frizzle pulled out a pair of binoculars from a big box on her desk. Look, I have a pair of binoculars for each of you. They're great for nature watching. We each took a pair of binoculars and hung them around our necks. Then we grabbed our coats and backpacks. Miss Frizzle told us to bundle up. Then she grabbed Liz and headed for the bus. I noticed that Uncle Cecil was still carrying his briefcase. He takes it everywhere with him. I checked out the sign on it. It read, "Keep out. This means you, Uncle Cecil." I asked, "What is in there?" "It's top secret, Phoebe," Cecil whispered. "Top secret. You mean you can't tell even me?" I asked. "Not now," Cecil said. "Maybe later." We piled inside the magic school bus. Little did we know. What would happen next?